Hello, my name's Rasat Johnston. I'm a graduate within Transgrid, who are the state energy supplier, essentially wholesale electric distribution for the New South Wales State Energy Grid. I'm based out of Sydney. We have an office in Haymarket, but we also have many offices around uh, Sydney and New South Wales. So sometimes I go into Wargrove up near Eastern Creek in Western Sydney and very occasionally, sometimes up in Newcastle in the depot there. I also do work from home one to three days per week, depending on what's going on. I'm currently undertaking the business component of my two year graduate program. The graduate program has a system where you do four rotations rotating every six months. So currently I'm in a business uh, unit and uh, hopefully next I'll be in construction management, then it will be project management and then electrical engineering. And at the end of the graduate program, uh, if your performance is good, you might get a job and you get to choose out of those four units which section of the business you want to work for. So a normal day, I'll wake up at around 4.30 in the morning, get to rowing by 5 a.m. I row for the University of New South Wales Rowing Club. Good way to get the day started, keeps me healthy. I usually get back home by 8 a.m. ready to work. So today I'm heading into the Walgrove office up in Western Sydney, collecting a transgrid pool vehicle that I'm gonna to use to drive up to Newcastle. Uh, the project team is doing a one-off helicopter ride to suss out potential power line routes and easement options. I'm also gonna go and meet some of the personnel up in Newcastle, say hello, and some of the maintenance staff up that way so I can get an idea of things I'm working on for my project. So today we are very lucky. The team did a helicopter flight to observe some of our existing transmission infrastructure. Uh, this took up most of the day, quite an unusual one-off. You're probably not going to do this as a grad, but I thought I'd include it. Uh, helicopters are something that Transgrid do use a lot of since we've got 13,000 kilometers of lines. Uh, he's mostly in remote areas too, so it's pretty much the only efficient way to visually assess a lot of our assets. My favorite part of working in this current field is it's helping us get towards green zero. So Transgrid is very involved in the push towards green energy. Most of our vehicles are electric or hybrid and they're pushing for all electric. It's the industry is booming. The government is pushing towards renewables, We're trying to get away from coal generation. And it's a very exciting time to be a part of. And it's something that you can take pride in and be proud of. Transgrid is a great fit for engineering types, people who are problem solvers, people who are self-motivated, and people who need a challenge in life. After the chop arrived, we had a meeting to debrief and discuss what was seen. I learned a lot, and being part of these, I'm always learning something new as a new grad. After that, did a bit of actual work after this, uh, working on plans for future projects that are yet to be constructed. Then at about 5.30 p.m., Left the office to go to the hotel with my boss since we're staying away from home these few days up in Newcastle. So I've got about an hour now till 6.30 when I was going to go have dinner, uh, smash out a bit of extra work, and then we can go have some dinner. So I found a nice little spot, a couple minutes walk from the hotel by the wharf, uh, having dinner with my manager and project director for our program. Thanks for coming along with a day in the life of a transgrid grad. Thought I'd do an honorable mention if you're working in Sydney, there is a massive grad program. We have 30 grads this year. You'll never be without a friend. You'll always have someone to have lunch with you. And thanks for coming along.